I'm Coach Deanna and today I'll be cueing us through the hang power plane. The hang power plane is going to begin in the hang position where the barbell is placed just above the knees and ends in the catch phase in the power position, which is a quarter squat. So first and foremost, we're going to cue the athlete to grab onto their barbell and start standing nice and tall. Feet are placed directly underneath the hips with a nice big chest, shoulders pulled back, and the core braced nice and tight to protect that long neutral spine. The hands are going to grip the barbell about a thumb's distance away from the legs with the knuckles pointed downward. I'm also going to cue the athlete to slightly internally rotate those shoulders. This will allow for the barbell to track along the body during the high pull phase of the lift. Next, you want to make sure that the athlete has their weight balanced in both feet around mid-foot. From there, I'm going to cue the athlete to push the hips back, keeping a nice big chest until they get to that hang position, barbell just above the knees. In this position, you see that the athlete's shoulders are in line with the wrists, nice big chest with the core nice and tight with a nice flat spine. From here, the athlete is going to stand up until they hit vertical, driving the hips forward into extension, then going into triple extension where the athlete is up on their toes, and then from there, you're going to cue the athlete to drive the shoulders and elbows up towards the ceiling, to then drop their weight underneath the bar and catch in that power position. Go ahead and relax. And then to see what that movement looks like in its entirety, go forth, pushing the hips back. Beautiful. Common mistakes that we'll see, you can go ahead and re -rack. In that hand position, you'll see the athlete sometimes going into that hyper or hypolarbotic posture of the spine. You just want to ensure that the athlete has a nice flat spine with the core braced tight. Imagine if someone's going to punch them in the stomach. That's going to cue them to keep the core nice and tight to help them throughout the lift. Next, you'll so also notice that athletes will have their weight either too far in their toes or too far in the heels. What this would cause is when the weight is coming against that high pull, that weight may drive that athlete forward during the high pull or backward onto their heels. So, we want to ensure that the athlete has their weight fully balanced in the midfoot throughout the lift. And that is our hang power pull.